Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're going to do the full oracle card spread here on YouTube. And there's an extended link below to a link to a full tarot card spread that um, articulates this reading and goes a little and dives really deep. And then we also have the romantic predictions as well. This is for Aquarius energy. So it really is sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, wherever Aquarius, wherever Aquarius is placed in your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days, whenever, from whenever you're watching this video, just incorporate it. If it doesn't fit, do not try to squeeze it. Um, it's so every time, like I, I just got this thought in my head. Every time I do your reading Aquarius, it's almost like, I feel like you don't want me to know. <laughs> like I'm like, I'm digging into a place that you really don't want me to have access to. Um, even though you're, even though you're sitting there judging and wondering and judging whether or not it's a good reading, you're still like, it's like almost like you don't want me to know <laughs> type of energy. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. So here we go. Aquarius. This is all about you, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Upcoming sun, moon, rising, Aquarius, Aquarius energy. Love it. The, the crowning energy is out. We got a double energy again. Setting your, ba Ooh. Setting your boundaries and making them rough, making them harsh. Like coming in, block it. You're doing this on purpose. You're doing this on purpose. Like why are you being spiky? Why are you being prickly? Why are you doing it? Why are you pretending like you don't have those mushy feelings underneath the surface? There you are looking out from underneath those heavy, heavy boundaries, blocking yourself because you want to protect yourself. Look at this. The Holy Trinity balance. This comes out to four plus eight is 12. One plus two is three. This is three, three divine timing. Aquarius, something is knocking on your door and you're being coy and defending yourself against it. You're like, nope, 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 to try to make it prove itself to you. You want its attention, but you don't want to want its attention, and you don't want it to know that you want its attention. So you're pretending to not pay attention to it, even though you can't take your eyes or your mind off of it. That's kind of where we're at. Yep. Look at you being all spikely and prickly. Even though you're like, oh, man, I really want you. Oh, my God, I love you. I love you. But I'm not going to show it. Oh my God, look at his little eyes. He's so cute. Just a lot of stress, like a heavy burden. Like I'm sure that you didn't get this way for no reason. All those spikes grew to protect yourself and to defend yourself, but you're walking in kind of like with your armor out, you know, I'm being like, it's not just your armor. It's like, say something, go ahead. Mm. Don't tell me you love me. Sure. <laughs> you know, like that kind of energy of like, um, Okay, <laughs> that like, like I just, you can feel it coming is what I know. You can feel it in the air. You can feel it. It's almost like, you ever, you ever see that meme of Sheldon Cooper where his love is in the air and he has like a can of Lysol? <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of, if that, if a meme could represent you this week, that would be the meme of like, don't bring it near me. Don't get it anywhere near me. I don't want to know anything about it. Right, protecting yourself, defending yourself, your, your more tender emotions. This is the energy that's crowning your reading. This is your energy. This is Aquarius energy of walking into a room like a bad boss and having your spikes out and flinging them anywhere you need to, like letting people know and see your spikes and your spikiness so that they won't mess with you from the very beginning. But then deep down inside, it's like, come, come, come save me. Oh, it's too heavy. It's too heavy. I don't want to be alone. Look at me, see me, see me. What's going on? It's like, is the, are the boundaries that you're putting up really making you happy? Or are they just isolating you, making you feel sad and stressed out? Like, ask yourself that question because um, happiness, I think, is just a key to a lot of the energy this week is like true happiness. What is, what is it that you really want? Even if it makes you vulnerable or makes you feel like a fool or it ends up hurting you again, what is it? What is it that you really want? At least know it yourself. You don't have to lie to you. <laughs> you don't have to deny it to yourself. It's almost like having one of those conversations with yourself, where, like you're you're even telling yourself lies. Like fool, you know what's real. Like you can't tell yourself lies. What are you doing? I don't know, but you're gonna try. Let's see if it works. Okay, sure. Aquarius, okay. 
Um, reclaim your power. This is energy up. No, you've been watching them. You've been stalking them from a distance. Your eye is on them. You can't take your mind off of them. This is that energy of, you know what you want. You're hungry. I've got hungry eyes and I've got you in my sights. You want it. You want it, but you're sitting there looking at it instead of pouncing. It's almost like, no, when the timing is right. No, when the timing is right. Fool, you just want to stay safe in the bushes. That's what's going on. Now is a lucky time. Now is the time for you to go get it. Now is a time for you to double down on your abundance. Look at this. Four plus nine is 13 plus four. This is stability. This is eight. This is destiny. You're, it's destiny. It's destiny at play right here, right now. And it's almost like you're trying to block it right now. No. Wait at the door. It's because you feel safe with this situation and you feel safe in this circumstance. That's why you're acting like it. Trust in the magic, new beginnings, new birth. Um, something is just taking off, taking flight, newness and freshness. Um, 66 is the energy of 12, which also comes out to a three. Divine, trinity, holiness and balance. But then your central energy is be here now. Upside down, lopsided, um, seeing love in a twisted way instead of, it's almost like intentionally turning love on its head just to see how it reacts. Okay. Um, use your mind wisely when pigs fly, but it's, it's turned upside down, so... I think you're making things hard for yourself. Making things hard for yourself, um, making things hard outwardly for other people, yes, but also making things hard for yourself intentionally because you know the inevitable is very, very close and you don't want it to be. It's almost like right before we taste the sweetness of success, we stop ourselves because we're a little bit worried and we're a little bit like, but what's the next step? This was always the next step. This was always where I aim. But if I actually step up and, and here I actually arrive, well, then where's the next step? We don't know where the next step is yet. You won't know what the next step is until you step up on the, up onto the cliff, up on the pinnacle. And look out and see that, oh, there's still more to go. You just didn't realize it. But it's okay because you can't realize it until you're on that step. You only think it's the last step. It's not the, la it's not the last step. There's a next step out there. It's coming. You just can't see it yet. Oh, there's something hidden. Oh, hold on. You see clearly now, this is your energy. This is hiding from the truth. This is deceiving yourself, self-deception. Remember how I was saying you're even lying to yourself? Like, how do you expect to keep lying to yourself? You're like, maybe if I bury it really, really deep, <laughs> then, then nobody will find out. You're keeping, you're keeping something buried. This is hidden emotions or hidden feelings or not being able to see clearly. It could also be deceiving yourself when it comes to a circumstance or a situation, sort of twisting it in your mind to make it something that it's not. You have a very powerful mind, Aquarius. Are you using it correctly this week? Are you using it in to help you or to, to handicap yourself? Because this would imply that you're using it to handicap yourself because you're keeping your emotions locked away. This is like howl at the moon energy, but no, nah, there's like shady and subvertedness. Turn knowledge into wisdom. You see clearly now, this is my um, a card of wisdom and understanding and aha and revelations and being able to see clearly, but none of that. It's all turned upside down. Every, oh, I see. Something's got you turned upside down. Somebody, something has got you completely and totally not making sense. And that's why you're defensive. Because this person has definitely got you like flip turned upside down. Holy moly. You could also just be feeling like your world is upside down right now. Like you're losing something that really matters a lot to you. Something precious to you. Not like bad, like like ending or any, any, like an ending or a death or anything like that. But like. It's almost like you can feel the end is close and you don't want it, you don't, you don't want it to end. You don't want it, you don't want this to end. 
it's almost like something that you've wanted for a long time, but now that it's here, it, it came too quickly type of energy. Open to infinite possibilities. This is your stabilizing or grounding energy. This is your card, the star card, upright. So what's happening in your life right now is actually really beautiful stuff. There's actually a lot of turnovers and new things and opportunities. And you're maybe in the public eye or been spotlighted, been chosen, been selected. Your dreams and wishes are coming true. This is like abundance and happiness and yay, glory and victory and 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 and, and true happiness. But it's 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 so it's not like part of you knows that everything is gonna no. Part of you wants to be happy like crazy but it's almost like you're still suppressing your happiness. This is change. Change, what did I just say? This is the energy of change. Nine plus five is 14, which adds up to five. This is change. Change is coming. What was hidden is coming to light. You're going to be seeing in the dark. Rebirth is assured. Something new is happening. It's coming, it's, it's coming back. There's life, there's life. You will be, you will be, you will be, oh God. Oh, I can't hold on. It feels crazy. Um, a rebirth is assured. It's happening. It's happening. It's all happening. And maybe it's just happening too fast, Aquarius. Lay a solid foundation. This is Virgo energy, something close to your heart, heart chakra. Of maybe that's why you want to slow it down. You don't want to acknowledge it yet because you want a stability. You want to feel the stability. You know, you don't want it to just take off and fly away. You want to make sure that it's going to be safe and sound and protected. That's what you want. You want to ensure that solidity. You want to ensure, because you're a fixed sign. And as wide open and expansive as your mind is, you, you, you like to feel the ground beneath your feet. You like that stability. You like to be certain. Um, tend to the small things. This could be an energy of something that you have, uh, something that you have developed over time, something very near and dear to your heart that you have cultivated and grown over time and it's gotten larger and bigger and now it's about to fly out of your hands. You may, you know, be selling a business or selling a story or getting something printed or, you know, it's, it's good, it's beautiful, it's a wonderful, it's kind of how I felt when my son went away to college. That's how it was. It was like, I just wanted to crumble. And I felt horrible for being sad because I thought of all the, the many, many parents in, you know, uh, throughout the United States who were sitting in a hospital room holding their child's hand as they watched them suffer through cancer or illness. And I thought, what the f am I crying about? I have a healthy, beautiful, strapping young man who got into the college of his dreams. He's going away to study what he wants. There was triumph. There was wonderful. This was awesome. But I was so sad because, and I didn't want him to go. And it was just like, what am I doing? It's like, what? It's like, it's like, I, I want to, I know how that I'm blessed, but I, I don't, I don't want it to move. I don't want it to move. Now that I'm here and I'm almost getting everything I want, I don't want it. It just, can we back up a second? Can I go back to when this was fresh and new and, and, and unsure and uncertain because I actually was more sure of that energy than I am right now because where do I go when I'm successful? Where do you go from here? And that's the conflict in your life right now. And it's really a blessing. What a blessing to have that conflict in your life right now, Aquarius. It just doesn't feel good. There's something very beautiful and triumphant here. Something abundant, there's abundance and multiplying and, and really um, uh, like goodness, goodness, but you don't feel it. It's almost like your heart is twisted and flipped upside down and that's why you're sort of defensive against it and not really wanting to talk about it or think about it or even acknowledge it, even though it's amazing. <laughs> you know, you're almost like, no, treating it like it's the enemy even though you know it's something that you've always wanted. Uh, let me flip, flip the camera around, hold on. So there's your spread, there you go. You see this crowning energy? It's beautiful energy. It's a beautiful ridiculousness, that's what it is. 
this energy of no, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Don't stab me, don't stab me, don't hurt me. This conflict, maybe even inside yourself of that tenderness that you're hiding and yet you're also like bristling on the surface. Like you've got it, you've got it all covered. You're, you're the boss, but you're, you're just sort of fighting this internal, this internal, like, like the tenderness, the happiness, this, 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 this love that is upside down has got you flip turned upside down, not wanting to acknowledge it or see it or denying it, almost denying that it's happening. That's what I'm getting. Almost denying that it's happening, even though it's really lovely and beautiful. I'm telling you right now, though, it's all going to keep going, moving forward anyway. It's the time. This is going to build over time, too. So if you don't address this, it might get out of your hand. So if you really want to lay a solid foundation, if you really want to like, you know, like get, get this under wraps now, it's like um, bit by bit, piece by piece, little by little. In other words, don't tackle it all in one day, Aquarius. Just start, because clearly there is something that has to be honored about those emotions right now that make you feel that you're feeling uncomfortable, right? Honor them, accept them, treasure them, because this is their, their, their sort of that part of you that's honoring what is finishing, right? It, it, there's a mourning in a way, even though nothing bad has happened, there's a, there's sort of a mourning of, of how far you've come as part of the celebration to the great victory that you're going to be experiencing. This is just, da you're dawning, da a dawning, a life taking off in a, in a beautiful new direction with all different possibilities. Um, really lovely energy that you're fighting with tooth and nail right now. So <laughs> let's go over to the extended um, full, full tarot card spread. That link is below. And we're also going to peek into your romance predictions this week as well. I'll see you over there.